like a boss. All right, ladies, look. This, what I'm about to tell you guys, man, is fucked up, all right? This shit is fucked up. And um, I, I really want you guys to, if you guys are going to do this, don't do it. And because from the first fucking one, you guys can know, you guys are going to tell that this is really fucked up, all right? And I know, it, like, just like the thorns in a fucking flower, there's going to be some of you ladies salivating for this video. So, it's whatever. It is what it is. Look, and I... I don't teach this in my course of psychological game of attraction, but I do veer on this side a lot more than anything else. All right, so look, it, th these strategies play into male psychology, which is how it is. They play into male psychology, into men's weaknesses, right? And the first one is their vanity and their self-esteem. So that, that's pretty much actually that's actually people's main weakness: their vanity and their self-esteem. And the first strategy is cheat and dump. Look, people, this is not going to be nice. Cheat and dump. Look, and this depends on the guy. This depends on the guy. And I don't recommend you guys doing this. But when it works, it works, right? But pretty much when you cheat on someone and they find out and then you dump them, you pretty much are kicking their self-esteem through the fucking gutter, you know? And they have two options. Take the hit. No, leave you and, and gain some self-respect. Or take the hit and stay with you and lose your self-respect. In the process of that, they end up falling in love with you. But that kind of love is resentful. They'll end up wanting revenge um, one point or another, right? So they'll end up doing something to you, something that'll fuck you up. And and, and you may not see what they do, but they they'll end up doing it because people want control. And when you when you manipulate them and control them, they will they will find a way to release that aggressive energy. You know, so you and, and when, when you when you fuck with a guy's self esteem, they be, they can become very vindictive. All right, you guys better gotta be careful with this. By the way, I'm going to Europe, um, London, Amsterdam, and Berlin. You guys will see right here where on the dates. All right, it's 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 you guys can purchase the um the tickets today. It's it's gonna go up today. I'm gonna put it up ten by ten dollars. So if after um by t after today, you guys are gonna see it more. So I will do it right now. And by the way, people comment below let me know what you guys think i'm going to be reading and responding to all of the comments in the first hour all right sub notification gang so yeah people um so yeah the hot the the cheat and then dumb this is why because when you cheat on someone naturally you apologize and that's what the person who got cheated on will expect but when you dump them yo it, that's yeah it's it's it's, it's one of those things that it's 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 you can never live it down, you know, and 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 they'll come back to you wanting some form of revenge, and that revenge is give me my self esteem back, give me my self worth, you know, because you took it from them. It's fucked up, man. Um, the next one is, um, the hot and cold in terms of sex, right, physically. And and this is a way to to really. How can I say this? To get them to initially emotionally invest, right? So the way you do this is by being super hot, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? By physically, in terms of like physical pleasure, right? Giving a lot, giving and then stopping completely, right? In other words, you give nonstop without wanting and then you completely stop, right? And then you wait and see, right? You could do this. The problem though is that you have to, you cannot just do this in the first week or second. No, you gotta like, do it in the first month or so, right? Like convince him the first month, and then and then the, and then the on the third on the fourth time you're gonna meet, cancel, right? Like on the fourth time you're gonna meet, cancel that meeting, right? And then once you cancel that meeting, pull away completely, and then, like we talked about yesterday. But the thing is, is that you have to really give him give him what he wants physically, and then pulling away, he's gonna automatically start thinking of that, right? And when when you pull away. I mean, you're going to test it, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to test it. You're going to see how far you can take it, right? You're going to take a day to respond to him. You're going to be as bland as possible, and you're going to see how does he react, right? Does he, does he begin to ask for more, or does he, does, he, does he pull back even more? And if he pulls back, then that means you have a guy with good self-esteem, <laughs> you know? Because no dude should, should, should take that shit from anybody, right? Oh, let me see one second. 
juicy. So put so the hot and cold in the mean one, right? Um, and, and also in terms of mean, you also want to like pull away by creating a meaning argument. For example, um, like you want to find any excuse to be mean. Like for example, like again, you want to be physic. This is pretty much telling you to be fucking crazy, but you want to be physically pleasing, and then you want to be emotionally mean, right? <sighs> the thing is that the kind of guy that stays for this is not healthy, right? But if you do this right. He's gonna love you at least, All right? Uh, not not that good. I don't think so. And the last one is um, selling the fantasy and pulling away, right? Now the fantasy is anything for the guy. Find out the kind of girl he wants, right? Literally find out. Talk to him, right? Talk to him the kind of women that he dated and why he liked them. You gotta find that. You gotta do some research. Find out the women he dated and why, and then become that woman. That's pretty much it. Like that's pretty much what you gotta do. Ask the kind of woman that he wants. Ask the kind of relationship that he wants, and then become that. You know, promise him through your actions, through your, through you imitating him and marrying him, marrying his likes and dislikes. Sell, sell him that he found the perfect woman, and then one month after that, pull away. Like we're not talking about physically though. We're not talking about physically. This is actually even better. Sorry about that. My eyes hurt. This is actually more effective because you're marrying him your you're mirroring his taste so that means you do the things he likes to do um and you find out the things that his exes used to do and you do it on him you become the perfect one right but then you also simultaneously find out what the what they did on him that he hated that hurt him and after that first month you start doing that right subtly but before you start doing the the, the mean, mean things first begin to pull away right like i said you just reduce you just stop you just stop initiating contact you completely stop initiating contact and you stop asking questions right so after the first month you just completely pull away like the you the your initiation of the contact goes away and you stop asking questions so he'll ask you a question and you won't you respond but you won't ask a, a follow-up question sorry my eyes are fucked up <laughs> you know and these are like the this is like these are like the template of of the evil strategy to make a guy fall for you right and again it's fucked up and this kind of strategy will create resentment you will cre you will have a guy who will want to get revenge on you and you don't want that that's not kind of, that's not the kind of vibe that you that, that you want you know but if this, this, this is the kind of stuff you want to do then by, by all means go ahead and do that shit and just don't don't blame it on me all right um yeah people anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video this is Alex. If you guys want monthly coaching, I'm noticing a lot of people are asking for that. Um, go to the link below. Um, and if you guys want um, individual coaching, go to the link below. All right. Deuces. All right, ladies. So this is the course that all of you guys have been asking me for. And it's the psychological game of attraction. This is pretty much the course that will make any man beg to want to commit with you. This is the course that I wish, I'll be honest with you, if I was a woman, this is the kind of course that I want because it, it, it's, it's a course that's specifically geared to help you understand how guys fall in love and how to do it in a systematic way that's almost predictable, right? So let me show you guys how the, this course is, is set up. By the way, there's a 30-day money back guaranteed on, on this course. So if you guys don't like it, you guys will get money back. Look, let me show you how it's done, right? So it's split up in a few sections. The first section is the introduction, obviously, uh, how, what to expect from it. After that is I'm giving you an understanding of the psychology, the, the psychology of attraction, right? Because you, you need to understand that dating is a game. You need to think strategically that there are certain laws of human nature that you cannot break. That And just a few things of why people love each other. You know, it's very important to, to have a realistic expectation. After that, we go into the pre we, we go into the three phases of every relationship. They and they all go in these three phases, and these phases could overlap each other at times, right? The first phase is the pre-honeymoon period. It is when you first know the person, or it is when you're becoming acquaintance with the guy, or it is when you guys broke up our and are back together or it is when you guys had a long period of you guys not knowing each other and now you guys want to rekindle things this works in any point of the relationship that that you need to spark interest and curiosity so these videos are specific for that specific 
to create curiosity, how to get to know the guy the right way, using your non-verbals, how to create a powerful reputation. It's, it's, it's tr truly powerful stuff. After that is the honeymoon period. This honeymoon period is what and is how to get from curiosity to interest to creating a deep connection. So all of these videos are specifically geared to that. Not the 30, no, no, no. These specific videos are there for this phase. And this phase is any phase. You guys are having a good, happy, happy moment. You guys just got back together, and now you get, you feel that peak. You feel that that happiness that you guys felt. That's what this is, right? So these videos are there for that. Creating a lonely fantasy, the preemptive breakup, the triangle of love, using words to control his man. It's, it's powerful stuff. After that is the post honeymoon period, and again, is 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 a short list of videos because these videos are there to solidify the connection that you already created. So if you're, if you just had an incredible moment or you just came out of a vacation with a guy and everything went well, you better use this phase because if you don't do this, he's going to become disenchanted. It's just how it is. These are very specific videos. And, and, and if you, and, and all you got to do is just say, all right, where am I? I, I tell you where you guys are and you just watch the video. It's pretty much like being coached by me. You got some bonus videos, stop being nice, dealing with the inevitable, how to deal with breakup, how to deal with getting over a dude. This is a, the, the, the how, to, how to overcome manipulation, identifying manipulation, deterring manipulation, defending yourself against manipulation, what to do if you're already in a manipulative relationship and how to avoid them through detachment. It's pretty much an extremely succinct, and laser focused course not one waste of motion that's why i love it and there's a 30 day money back guarantee if you guys don't like if you guys don't like it no questions asked people all right and if you guys want to support this channel this is how you support it and um i hope you guys enjoy this all right see you guys inside